And what I'm going to be talking about in this tutorial is how to do the glow effect. Um, as you can see here, we've got our dog character, and this is uh, his grouping of all his assets inside. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my node library. And I'm going to use the search bar, which is pretty handy, and type in glow so we can get our glow uh, effect right here. I'm going to drag it into the node view and I'm going to uh, attach it to the scene. There are a couple ways we can do this and a couple different setups. One setup, uh, if you think you might want to offset the glow effect, would be to create a clone of the uh, group by highlighting it, going to nodes, and then cloning drawings and timing. That way, anything you do to this master will uh, maybe mirrored by this one right here. And then you would just uh, attach the, uh, you can see it's actually affecting it right there. You would attach the second glow mat to the glow module, and then the glow module to the, or pardon me, the glow node, and then the glow node to the composite. Uh, another way of doing it, if you don't plan on uh, using the uh, if you don't plan on moving the glow effect around and just keeping it uh, squarely on the character, you can just create a second uh, a second string from the master to the composite, and you can do. Uh, I you saw one way of doing the uh, attaching, which would be attached to the top and then attached to the bottom. Another way of doing that would be to hold down your mouse button and to hold down Alt. You'll see a little bracket pop up um, and then what you'll do is you'll drag it over the line. You can see that they connect right there. Let go of your mouse and it stays. So now we have our glow effect in our into our uh, our scene here and you'll notice that it does affect the character but it affects it kind of oddly. It doesn't look like much of anything. That's because we're looking at it in the OpenGL view so we can see our character animated but it's not going to show the effect properly. To do that we go into the render view which is this little blue flower right here and we have our render view and you can see that it's uh, it is highlighted in a way but it's not it's glowing nor is it uh, doesn't look quite like much so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on this color card so we can see it better and we're gonna go into the tool or the layer properties for glow and we're gonna turn up the radius so we can actually see a glow around the character and you can see it's on the inside as well and we're going to go ahead and change that to a more fun color than plain old gray. So I'm going to double click on the color bar down here and we're going to turn it to fluorescent green. And you can see the glow effect much better now. The more saturated and brightly colored the glow, the more it's going to uh, react. And so our character is clearly radioactive at this point. And we can go ahead and change the intensity. And pretty much at this point he's going into complete meltdown. Let's turn it down just a little bit. So you can see our glow effect is going, and there are a couple of fun things you can do with that. As you saw, you could change the radius or how far the glow goes. Uh, we can also do a fun thing, which would be invert the mat, and that creates a cool effect, such as, uh, let's say your character was standing in a doorway, and there was a bright light behind them. You could have, It would be real cool to have it backlit like this. It's almost like he has a core shadow right in the middle. Uh, if your character is just standing in front of any bright uh, background object, this is a great way to cast that effect. And of course, your character will be animated in front of it uh, because it's all coming from one asset. Uh, another thing you can do is use the color source, which is another cool way. It basically, almost turns your character like into a nightlight. Uh, like there's a you know a light source from just within the character. It almost makes an actual 3D effect, which is pretty cool. And also the brighter the more color, the brighter the glow appears. You can have the intensity in there. There you go. Actually, it's blowing it out all the white parts. So that is how you use the glow effect.